Most young refugees don't have access to school, so it can be easy to feel lost with no sense of purpose. That's what it was like for me. I also saw this with the kids in the Begat Valley refugee camp in Lebanon, so I decided to do something about it. I know what it's like to have everything taken from you. When I was 12 years old, my family was forced to flee from our home in Syria. The Arab Spring was underway. People across the region were protesting against oppressive regimes. In Syria, my parents were helping organize demonstrations, but it did not take long for the government to crack down on protests. And soon, a civil war broke out. My mother received a death threat from the police for her activism. We were given five days to leave the country. When we left, I did not know it was for good. We drove for hours and passed through various checkpoints. We drove through Homs, a beautiful city, one I remember visiting with my family. It was completely leveled. I did not recognize it at all. Out the window, I saw clothes hanging among the ruins, a sign that people were somehow still living there. When we reached Lebanon, we were lucky to have friends who set us up with an apartment. But my parents could not find work, and refugees like me couldn't go to school. I was sad, bored, and would often stare at the wall to pass the time. I had no friends, no school to go to, no purpose. Life felt empty. Things were like this for three long months until my mom and I decided to volunteer at nearby refugee camps. One day I met Ramzi Haidar, a photographer who gave me my first camera. He taught me how to use it and I began to take photos of life in the Bika Valley refugee camp. I started to connect with people and I learned to see the small moments that brought people joy. It also helped me to make new friends. I would teach other children how to use the camera, and we would take turns playing with it and taking photos. Now when I looked up at the wall at home, I would see the cracks differently. They would come together to form a photograph in my mind. I wanted to keep the friends I was making, the community I was building, and I had the idea to start the school. I shared my idea with my mom, and soon we started reaching out to friends, neighbors, and even other refugee communities for support. Together, we raised enough money to build a school from the ground up. We named it Gersi, Arabic for Sprout. And that's what it was doing, growing. Today, we teach 240 refugee children each year. We also provide literacy, computer, and general quality classes for 500 adults. I was awarded the International Children's Peace Prize by Malala Yousafzai for my work, and it helped me to build more support for our school. As a refugee, it's easy to feel lost and alone. I know I felt that way, but I was also inspired by the resilience and determination of the refugees who I grew up with. They showed me that you cannot just wait for things to get better, you have to act. So my message to the world is this, don't be scared to follow your dreams and never forget how powerful a community can be, when we all build something together. Hey, I'm Hamad Jinde, and thank you for watching this video. I hope it was inspiring. If you want to learn more about other people who are striving to make the world a better place, click here and check out more from the Solving It series.